Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Robert Nilsson is Trying. I'm your host, Robert Nilsson. And uh, have we got a show for you? Not really. It's not like I've had much planned. Um, I do have some stuff going on tonight and this weekend and some stuff coming up with the band, which is really cool. Um, tonight, I'm doing comedy at the 702 in Midland, Michigan. Um, so hopefully this... I think this podcast will be out before I go. Maybe not. So this is actually be... I did great that night at the 702 in Midland, Michigan. It was a good time. Um, the band is recording soon. We're recording five or six songs, something like that. I could look in my band room and really tell you. Uh, I've been writing a lot of music lately. I've been writing jokes lately. I uh, <laughs> This guy, this comedian Patrick McFarlane check him out guys uh he's got he hit me up the other day and he asked hey man uh can we uh can you shoot a video for me and i was like what kind of video what do you need done he was like well i got a i got a skit with these guys in detroit and we need uh we're doing like a joe rogan skit and somebody's gonna be jamie a black guy's playing joe rogan and Somebody else is the guest, I believe, and something like that. He was like, "Can you help me out?" I was like, "Well, I have cameras and I've I've got lights and stuff. I can I can figure something out. I'm not the best cinematographer, but we'll see what the skit it is. I mean, I've seen the Joe Rogan show uh, hundreds of times, and his setup's pretty easy. It's like three cameras, one on both the guests. Yeah, one individual camera on each guest, uh, each person, Joe, and the other dude." And then a shot of both of them, and that's it. It's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. Uh, I think I can handle that no problem. I bought a green screen to help this guy out. <laughs> I bought it today, and like hopefully it's here tomorrow. I was like, yeah, man, I'll, I, I just ordered it, so we'll see how it goes. I got all the programs to do it. I've never really messed around with green screens. I did a little bit in school when I was in film school, but, uh, I dropped out of that because who really, who needs to go to school for art? Who needs to go to an art Institute? Ridiculous. Um, the band's recording though. That's really, it's really fun. It's really cool. Um, like I said, we are, uh, going through a weird time though with drummers. Drummers are hard to find. It sucks actually having a band. I was doing it solo for a while. I like the guys I'm playing with, uh, but just having to deal with like schedules and all that jazz and like trying to expand your band is really tough too. like, uh, just getting people in it, dedicated people that want to be a part of it or want to learn the songs and learn how everything's actually going. It's just hard, but these two dudes are pretty solid and I like them a lot. They're my, my best friends. Uh, Adam, you saw him on the last podcast. He was here. Uh, you'll see Connor sometime. Go check out uh, the Vladimir Van Nilsen page. That's our band. That's my band name. Uh, no, that's not my band name. That's my stage name. The band name is the Skeletal Circus. Vlad's Skeletal Circus. We do stuff. I got. I have my guitar down here, actually, right now. We had breakfast the other day, and I was just messing around with this. This guitar is actually a... Uh, it has a really shitty logo on it that I drew in uh, Sharpie. But then uh, there's there's a funny story behind the signature on this. It's also signed uh, by the original Misfits guitar player, uh, Bobby Steele. And uh, it says, To Vlad, Fangs, Bobby Steele. And they, uh, they told me that he doesn't usually sign instruments. It's not something he does. But the night before, his wife was there. Uh, at the convention we were at the show we were doing and she was uh she was crying outside because some chick assaulted her boyfriend was like grabbing her dick and stuff bobby she was like getting accosted by some lady some rock star shit but upset at her um <laughs> that me and my friend at the time um we were no longer friends and we just get screwed over by people sometimes but we played a song to her and made her laugh and smile. It's a song called Boobies. I'm not going to play it for you right now. Because this guitar is out of tune. But 
that's the main riff right here and it's just a song about tits the whole time i just sing about boobies but yeah that's it but yeah so it's cool so i got it signed by him and i've got to play a show with the undead um that's a band that he made after he was out of the misfits and stuff and they're still horror punk and it's pretty awesome i got to sing a song with them and that, that was a really cool uh opportunity or just really cool experience is is better because it, it was not an opportunity they were good friends they're still good friends i hit them up and say hey how you doing anytime they're living on a sailboat <laughs> they got some medical problems right now though but they're doing good um what else is going on man so yeah oh yeah like i said we record we're gonna record that song boobies that's cool the band is great though we're just back down to three people and it's it's easier with less people like i was saying i've done it as a solo person and that's nice but i write some songs that don't sound good just acoustic you know so it's better to have at least two people three to really beef it up so we got me connor and adam power trio and you know the bands that i've that i've worked in mostly that i have been <clears throat> better as a three-piece once you start adding more people it just starts getting complicated but connor is such a good guitar player so <laughs> it's uh i don't know it's it's hard we just hire somebody but we gotta start making money first so buy our ep when it comes out listen to it stream it tell your friends i'm burpy right now i just had a bunch of mashed potatoes and ham so that's a uh, that was tasty and i've been smoking weed today which is fine i mean that's every day usually um you ever <laughs> you ever been sitting there or like smoking and then go for a drive and you stop at a stop sign and you're sitting there and you're sitting there and you're sitting there and you wait you're just waiting for it to turn green that uh that's happened a few times and it's not like the proudest moment when you're driving and hanging out <laughs> you're like yeah man i'm a good driver if you have somebody with you they're like well then why why aren't you uh why aren't you driving yet man you've been at the stop sign for three minutes <laughs> just like jamming to zeppelin hanging out hey hey mama say the way you move <laughs> but then like i also you know once i get home and stuff i find that um i can tell if i'm doing good financially by like how good my pot stuff is cleaned or not because like if it's super clean I know I'm doing really bad financially because I've been like trying to scrape stuff and smoke what I can and just like I look like a little fiend. But when like money's good, money's rolling in, like these stimmy checks have been helping out. Uh, the weed is dirty and the plates are gross and there's tar on everything and it's sticky and it's nasty and it's great because I got money and I can keep smoking it. <laughs> I mean, shit, I smoke so much that my hair's turning green. It's kind of like more teal right now. And it's St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Or maybe it already is. So that's cool. Happy St. Patrick's Day, all you Irish fuckers. I, I found out, I like, as we did two episodes ago, we looked at my ancestry DNA. Uh, I am a little Irish, I think. I think I can say that. I was like 15 things. Can't keep track. Um, But yeah, like I said, I was, uh, I'm doing financially bad sometimes I, I do bad sometimes so i used to go to the cat uh the the cash check-in place like where they would advance your paycheck and stuff so i would go there and you know they suck because you gotta pay that they'll pay you but then you gotta pay them back just a little more every like three weeks or something like that but since you know donnie t and joey b they've been throwing out these stimmies I haven't had to go there at all. So I know it's been bad business for them lately because I got a call from them the other day like, Mr. Nilsson, would you like a loan? I was like, guys, I will come to you when I need you. Other than that, please fuck off. I don't need it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, everybody's got to make money somehow. My, uh, I'm kind of just running through my jokes right now that I'm trying to do tonight. So if any of these are working, let me know. <laughs> I think uh I think culture should mix more. Um this is my my anti 
racist rally for the world speech. No, but I do. I do because white people are boring and white people just what what's white people culture? Like Scandinavians are cool and stuff. It's all like braids and like wooden shoes and stuff. It's kind of boring, kind of lame. Vikings are cool, but <clears throat> you just need more stuff, especially like white Americans. It's it's great, but like my kid the other day, they were talking about heritage in class, and uh, <clears throat> this one kid was like, "I'm half Spanish and I'm half uh, English," and uh, my son was like, "Man, that's so cool! I want to share something," and I was like, "Yeah, go share." And he just told the whole class, he was like, I'm half, <laughs> I'm half Florida and I'm half Michigan. And I was like, oh, you just sound like a huge redneck right now. Please stop talking. <laughs> and uh, they're cute though, man. Like they're, they're super uncultured babies, <laughs> but they're fucking cute babies. This lady came up to me the other day and she was like, I am so sorry, but your baby is so cute. And I was like, why are you apologizing about that? My baby is damn cute and don't apologize because I don't <laughs> apologize if it was ugly. I'd be like, I'm sorry, <laughs> but your baby's ugly. That's what you say to somebody. Now, when you're giving them a compliment about their kid, I am so sorry. Another thing, like I hate when some, when you say sorry and somebody says no problem, this has nothing to do with any of my other jokes, but no problem is this, just say you're welcome. Doesn't nobody say you're welcome anymore. I don't get it. Um, but I do make cute babies. And the, I'm good at making them too, but I got to stop because it's too young. I had my first kid at 19 years old. And uh, then I had another one a year, almost two years ago. And uh, I just got to stop doing it with young girls. That's why I'm just going for MILFs now. Like the MILF year, the better. Hysterectomy scars, let me know if the guts are out because, yeah, what's up? I'll uh, <laughs> give me a call. <laughs> Uh, but a good place to pick up the mills is the grocery store where I work. And uh, one thing that I, I get annoyed about working there um, is not, like, talking to the mills because that's a bonus. They're always like, oh, you have beautiful eyes. And I do have pretty eyes, especially when the mask is on. That's all you see. But then when my mask is on, all I do is get misgendered by everybody else when I'm turned around because I'm slim and slender and I have a nice ass and beautiful hair. So people look at me and they're like, uh, ma'am, miss, ma'am, can you help me? And I say, yes, how could I help you? <laughs> and then I really throw them a curveball. Freaks them out. Um, I was also, you know, I went to the store the other day where I work. I wasn't working, though. And I was, you know, in the refrigerated area where the shelves are, like, with cheese and all that stuff. So I was getting cheese. And then I was going down because I, I saw a cute girl, you know, down the ways. And, you know, I wasn't going to cheat. But, like, when I can see a cute girl, I'm going to, you know, try and say hi or, like, whatever. She, we were kind of dressed the same, kind of had the same style. I was just glancing. I didn't see because I was trying to get in close. I was like, maybe it's a nice milf. I don't know. That would be great. But so I'm going over. And I'm glancing, and I'm just looking at stuff, trying to, you know, be, be coy about it. And then uh, I, I turned to the side to, to say hi, and it, it was the mirror part of the shelf right there. And I was, I catfished myself, man. I was, I, I misgendered myself, and I was about to slap that ass, but then I realized it was mine. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, fucking Kroger. I also, it's been about a year since, you know, COVID-19 happy anniversary guys with the COVID-19 um I've been working at a grocery store the whole time I recently I, I got back I'm not laid off anymore but I'd, I'd rather be I hate working at a grocery store we uh but we do got the front lines on like toilet paper and stuff so I never had to panic about any of that last year the second it came off the truck guess who got to unload it guess who put it away it was mine. Na 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 boo boo. You can't wipe your doo doo because I could. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, the Patrick McFarland show. I'm shooting a sketch for him. I'm doing Mike Ball's Future of Comedy show tonight. Mark Bonso's Funny Spot coming up in April. Oh yeah, I got another show for the band the 25th of this month in Bay City. Uh, and that's really cool. We're playing at the West Town Theater. Uh, in Bay City, it's a pretty big spot. Buckethead's played there. Salvia's played there. Um, other bands have played there. We are playing there, Vlad Skeletal Circus. So that's going to be nice. Um, so that's the 25th. That was a last minute show. And then the 27th, we're recording our album, our EP. And then April 
Second, I'm doing Mark Bono's funny, funny spot. Mark Bonto's funny spot in Flint, Michigan somewhere. Uh, and then, let's see, let's see, let's see. April 14th, I'm doing BMOs with my band uh, in Bay City. Then April 22nd, we're fucking with that other band that was starting all that shit with us drama-wise in uh, Bay City again at BMOs. We're going to open for them. And then later on in that month, I'm going to Florida, and I'm going to do some podcasts from Florida. I'm going to do some from my hotel room, and I'm going to do some uh, with some guests at the convention I'm going to, and I might do one live poolside. I think I talked about all this already, but uh, <clears throat> I think that's going to be really cool and really fun. Um, I'm excited. This These next two months are going to be uh, – they're going to go by quick. They're going to go by really quick. And we're going to make more happen. I'm going to add more shows, too. So stay tuned. Check out the comedy page as much as you can. And if you guys like uh, what you like in here, maybe go check out my music, too. You know, this is the first time I've really, like, pushed for it a little bit. But Vladimir Van Nilsson, it's the same last name as this one, but put a van in front of it. And, uh, yeah, check it out. We only got one song out right now because we're recording more. Um, Show's coming up podcast coming up i'm gonna record a toilet talk right after this and actually get that going i recorded an intro for it forever ago but now i can finally you know i just dedicating yourself to do stuff is hard sometimes man i try and write songs i try and write skits i try and you know i I have ideas to do things toilet talk i have a podcast now i gotta write comedy i gotta practice this set more because that was kind of hard to get through guys uh but we're working on it my energy's a little low right now but i'm gonna get pumped i got i'm just a little nervous because i like to keep it going i don't like to have breaks in between performing and it's been like two or three weeks now and i haven't got it up on stage so now i got the jitters but i got you know, it'll be fine. I'm still new with this man. I'm still new. I've only got like, I don't know. How many sets have I done so far? On oh, my YouTube, I can look really quick. I can look really quick. Oh, Chelsea's calling me. Hey, what's up? Do you want to say hi to the podcast? You're on it. Oh, gosh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Yeah. Jameson and White Claw. Jameson and White Claw. We mixed them together and put them in our butts. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll talk about this later. All I right. want something to drink. <laughs> this is a good way to end the show because I was about done, too. This is great. I was wrapping it up. Oops. <laughs> no, this is great. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. Well, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, my name is Robert Nilsson, and I tried.